creating a responsive website on Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create and make your website very responsive for the sizing and very adaptive. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Wix.com and you need to sign in for an account within this platform. After you have signed in within the platform, you're going to see here the sites dashboard. Here we have the sites dashboard. You can see that we have created a lot of websites. If you don't have a website yet, you're going to get this specific page, which is going to be the uh, Wix uh, editor right there. You can go ahead and select one of the two choices that are presented to you. The first one is going to be to try Wix Studio and the second one is going to be here create on the standard Wix editor. You can go ahead and select the Wix editor right there and you're going to get either the help of the AI or you can go ahead and start without the chat and set up the account and also the website. So once you have created your website, you're going simply to uh, set up the website by just clicking on select and edit website it will show up right there the dashboard of it so you are going to see it right there and this is the control panel of the uh, entire website you're going to set up everything from here or you can go ahead and manage the sales the catalogs uh, here the portfolios add some apps from the app market etc and if you want to design the uh, site you're going to click on design site or edit site here at the top and it, it will show up or it will load up here the uh, website of yours. So I have already preloaded my website, as you can see, because the loading screen right there of the Wix uh, editor will take a little bit of time. So you need to be patient with uh, this uh, delay. Right there, we are on the website. As you can see here, we have the uh, uh, all the elements that are uh, compounding our website or our uh, selected also created into our website as you can see the website is here uh, very responsive so you're going to see that everything is loaded correctly and nothing is bugging if we want to check the uh, mobile version we are going to click on the mobile phone here at, at the top and switch to the mobile version and the same thing here we have a very responsive website as you can see here everything is loaded everything is in place and the uh, sections or the um, setup here as you can see uh, elements are set up correctly and everything is fine so how we can assure that is going to be uh, a responsive website and uh, the elements will not be bugging so the first thing that you need to do after creating your website you need to add the different pages for your website so you are going to leave the home page as you can see i am going to click on pages here we are on the home page as you can see this is the home page you're going to leave it empty from the dirt or you are going to leave it only a uh, light or create a light page for home and the navigation will not go through it for example and here we have this one so uh this is the page or the home page we're going to leave only the necessary elements from here this in my case has a store so i cannot unfortunately uh make or uh get uh, rid of the artworks so i cannot i will leave them here but i can go ahead and delete the sections that i don't need for example this one this section i don't need it also this picture i don't need it either so you are going only to let the artwork or the different pictures that needed. Now let's go ahead and navigate through another page. We have here the sites uh, menu. From here uh, at the uh, sidebar right there or the left side of the screen, we have the element adder and the navigation bar. So we are going to click on element or add element to add whatever you want. So I'm going to head over the pages. Now we are going to uh, visit the about. As you can see here, we don't have another page, so we are going to create a page. Let's start with a blank page. And then we are going to name it. So this blank page is going to be here content, for example. 
and this content page is going to be like that so it is empty so we can go ahead and start and uh, add some design sections for example right there i'm going to add this one or a welcome uh, to the page here so we can go ahead and select the uh, the section so for example here we have the white as you can th uh, see here the uh, white uh, background so you can change the background color for example we are going to put it here uh, this is the gray so we are going to put it like that boom now we have a different color for the section so i'm going to change the background of the section to white and this is it so right there as you can see everything is in order uh, so we can add a starting uh, or uh, start add the elements for example like that uh, create a new section add the necessary elements for it for example we have here some text you can add some text I'm going to add a heading as an example. I'm going to edit here the text. You can go ahead and choose the text, which is going to be something bold like that. And here we have the, as you can see, the uh, fonts. So make sure that you are going to edit your text correctly. Put it here, or align it to the middle. So you are going to get it here. So I, I think that you've got the idea on how we should uh, treat our website. So it is very simple and very clear. You are going to create the different compartment or pages of your website and each page should be light on content. And that lightness or this light uh, content should be here added to the minimum required. So as you can see, for example, this we have a text we have here a image, we have here some text also, we have a simple logo, nothing animated. As you can see here, we have nothing that should um, right there uh, set up the uh, things um, worst. So also I have another tip for that. So if you see, for example, a text and also a text or a paragraph, you can go ahead and select the text and press control or shift, you are going to press shift and select the other text and group the elements. So with that, you're going to make them as a one group. And this group is going to be linked together. So when the loading, ti loading time or the loading screen of the website is appearing, the group right there, it would be charged or loaded together and will not get a delay. This also goes for the different parts on the text and also the uh, here as you can see the strips here we have a strip you can go ahead and uh, uh, fusion or group the elements from here here as you can see this uh, get a subscriber form right there you can go ahead and let it as it is and this is how we can do that so for the uh, mobility right there or the mobile version of your website how we can go ahead and make it responsive it is very easy so you need to set up here the sections that are created within the uh, for example uh, here within the uh, desktop page so for example here you are going to create a section and the uh, section should be designed i'm going to click on add section and if you see that a section is going to be a little bit bigger for example this one like that it is going to be here uh, set up like that so i'm going to delete that this is the section so let's see how it will behave on uh, the mobile version so i'm going to tap in on the mobile version and you as you can see it is taken or it has made a bug on the mobile version nothing is working correctly right there so as you can see we've had some blank space going on right there. So we are going to head over here. We are going to click on hidden on mobile. This is the hidden on mobile version. Click on it and then you are going to either show the line or a container box, for example. We're going to set up this one and you're going to hide it from the mobile section. So with that, I'm going back here to the desktop version. 
and see if we have something else to do. So you need to hide it from the mobile version by clicking on the I uh, cross right there. If you see that something is going to be here. So here we have something that has been making uh, here the uh, fuss. So we need only to uh, refresh the page and everything will go well here. So this is the uh, chip, a tip for setting up the mobile version of the website responsive and here we have it don't forget also about the apps and also integration do not have a heavy app installed into your website unless you need it badly so the apps and the integration when they are being installed or are installed into your website they will take it right there a lot of space from your website also they would be here making your website non-responsive at all. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.